Good morning, it's 642 here in Tel Aviv and I've got all my stuff packed up again here on the floor and I'm about to go down to have breakfast before I leave at 7 to uh, Amman, Jordan. The trip I'm going on is going to last three days and it's going to take me through uh, Amman, Jordan and the Jordanian desert to Petra and Wadi Rum. seconds if you look to the right and you can see the temple mountain western wall the whole city and many more now if you take your eyes to the right side you can see the mount of olive and the wall behind the israeli and the palestinian side this is because now we're going inside to the West Bank. In the West Bank, this is the place B in Israel. It's called B just because in Hebrew it's Beyachad and Beyachad in English it's together. This is the only way in Israel when the Jewish people, the Israeli and the Palestinians move together on the same way and live together on the same place. For a couple of seconds you can start seeing many different car and many different plate. All the car with the yellow plate, this is the Israeli guy and all the other with the green or white plate. This is the Palestinians. It's called Bitania or Betania. And this is exactly the place where I have a tomb of Lazarus. Right now we're getting pretty close to crossing the border into Jordan. And I've got a little piece of paper that gives us uh, all the directions to get through customs and then we'll have to do the same thing on the way back. So we just paid the exit fee for Israel and now we got to go to the Jordanian side and uh, check our luggage basically. Now we cross the other gate and if you take your eyes exactly now to the right side, you can see the Jordan River. The Jordan River, it's like a nature border between Israel to the Jordan. So I officially just crossed the Allenby Bridge, or the King Hussein Bridge, and uh, I'm in the Kingdom of Jordan now, and we're going to head to Amman, the capital city, where we're going to do some uh, sightseeing and uh, museums and stuff like that today. We are about 1100 feet below the sea. actually get to Amman today we stopped off at the city of Juresh and we're gonna do a little side tour for about an hour and a half of the ancient ruins here Arena. This is one of three gates we have in Jerish. This is Philadelphia Gate. The columns, shops. But if you look at that side to the left, you see the white of the column. It was for around a thousand years, no one here in Jerish. And this city has been. This one for 
3,000 spectators. So if you'd like to know how many people they used to live in any, in any one of the Roman cities, ask about the main theater. This is 3,000, that means 30,000 people they used to live here, all of 10%. KFC. <laughs> Put it here. And you feel you feel the movement. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, if you lose one you have another nine. Uh. <laughs> look at this one, how it moves, huh? see? Oh. Look, look. <gasps> there is spirit inside. Yeah. Why? I told you the columns they are connected by a pen. Wow. See the holes? connected so it moves and the movement keep this one standing look at the top the holes for the hook and the marble and the basin was covered by granite like this kind of stone the water come from there so right now we're leaving the ruins of ancient Juresh and we're gonna go find something to eat at one of the nearby restaurants and then head to Amman Salam. So the restaurant we came to today is called Artemis Diana after one of the temples we saw back in the ancient city. And right behind me they're cooking bread for us. It happens to be a self-service buffet. Alright, time to dig into some good Jordanian cuisine with uh, hummus and rice and chickpeas. And... Again, my wallet is starting to look like the United Nations. I've got Ukrainian, Israeli shekels, and I just got some American dollars back in Jordan. Yes, there is a Santa in Jordan. A man, one of the three oldest inhabited cities in the world. Amman, Damascus, and Jericho. Amman has three names. Amun, Moab, and Edom. The sign says Amman, Citadel. Right now we're on uh, Citadel Mountain here in Amman which is one of the seven hills here in Amman and behind me are the plaques for the three names of Amman over the centuries.
sweet shop in central Oman to get some kanafa, which I've never had, but I, I hear it's amazing. <laughs> It's the same. U. K U N N A A F E H. The kanafa didn't take very long to devour. It's delicious. It was warm and sweet with uh, some uh, diced nuts on the top. It's about 4.15 in the afternoon and we're just leaving the city of Amman to head to Petra where we're going to be camping at the Bedouin campsite tonight. We've got about three hours of driving through the desert before we get to Petra. So we just got into the Bedouin camp and got settled into our little tent for the night. Uh, it's got electricity now, but at 11 they turn off the generators so they left some candles for us in case we need them tonight. It's pretty cold outside so we're definitely going to need the, the blankets, maybe some extras even. finished up uh, a light meal here in the tent and we're gonna do some uh, tea and shisha and sit around for a while. these videos click the thumbs up and subscribe below and also share with your friends and remember you don't have to spend a fortune to have an adventure